What's up guys? In this video I'm gonna explain my story after the hurricane happened. Okay guys, this is my story after Hurricane Harvey came here to Houston. For those who don't know where I live, I live in Houston, Texas. Okay, my story started like this on a Friday, the 25th of August. That's when the news came, the, when I knew the Hurricane Harvey was coming here to Houston. That hurricane rapidly growing in size and strength, barreling through the Gulf and headed toward the U.S. tonight. So the first thing I did is I went to buy food and groceries. The stores, they were packed and it was crazy, like, like it was the end of the world. <laughs> so everybody was trying to get food. The shelves of the stores, they were empty. Everybody trying to get everything. So I went to get food, just in case we were prepared for the hurricane. And after that, uh, I went to pick up my wife at, to her work and my son at the school. Apartment. I live in an apartment and I live on the second floor. And I went on Friday, on the same day, the hurricane didn't come directly to Houston, so it came to Corpus Christi. Texas. Residents who ignored evacuation orders to write their name and social security numbers on their arms so authorities can identify their bodies. This storm is expected to stay over the Texas coast for days, dumping more than two feet of rain before moving to Louisiana. So we think oh, maybe we're not gonna get hit that bad, but let's wait and see what happens. So on Saturday, the 26th, that's when the rain started here in Houston. So it started to rain a lot the whole day. But the problem was the rain. It was raining and raining. Even Sunday, it was raining too on, on Sunday. So we got a little bit of flooding, but more, maybe like around like four inches, something like that. But the water went down and went away. On Saturday, they will, we got flood like this, and the water went away. And on Sunday, we got water again, and the flood like this, and the water went away. So we thought maybe once we weren't going to get that bad uh, or flooding. But on Monday, the news that we I live close to a reservoir, so a river, our river. So those. That river, the water was pulled all the way to the edge. So they told us on the news that they were going to open the doors of the river. So that's when all the our problems, my problems, started. <laughs> okay, so on, on Monday, Monday at night, they were starting to open the doors for the water, so it doesn't get too bad the flooding, but I live very close to the reservoir, so the water is started to go up and up, it started like three inches, then four inches, six inches. I was starting looking at my car, and then the water started going up, 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 up. <laughs> I said, man, I'm, my car, my car is gonna get flooding. I tried to move it, but it was already too late. There was no way that I was going to move my car because it's lowered and very low. I was going to get flooded anyway. So, so I waited and thought maybe on uh, Tuesday the water might go away and it lowers down by every hour, but that never happened. So on Tuesday, that's when I started to worry because I had my family with me wife and my son and then the water was on my car the water was already close to the tail light 
on the rear right there so like around like 16 inches or more or 20 inches so we started to see all the neighbors leaving the apartments I live on the second floor the first floor they were already flooded all the apartments on the first floor they were already flooded like like six inches inside the apartment because the apartment is a little bit higher than the parking lot so on the on the apartments on the first floor they were already six inches inside the, the houses apartments so the people start leaving and I told my wife we should leave and she told me too maybe we should leave this place it might get higher and higher and we cannot get out so we starting to pack a little bit of stuff the important things and then we left <laughs> the good thing one thing I want to mention very important a lot of help from the neighbors they started helping each other people came with a boat to help all the people in the in the apartments and the houses it wasn't the police it was the neighbors they started using boats to help all the people to get out of the houses on the apartments i think that's a very important thing that i see on houston that everybody was helping each other that was very good for me and after that they took us to a shelter and we were there on the shelter for like a week <laughs> no for like a around like four days but they gave us food they gave us clothes because we didn't have enough <laughs> clothes for too many days so they gave us food a place to shower <laughs> to shower ourselves and uh, food three times a day so it was a lot of help from the those places on the shelter I think that was very good on the help on the on those places okay and after that we moved to a hotel and because I didn't uh, get a, a lot of stuff one friend helped me and we went back to the apartments and the apartment was still flooded all flooded so uh, we went inside the water to get some stuff out because we didn't get all important all the important things so we returned over there to get some of the stuff and on this uh, Monday I don't remember the date but I'm gonna put the date that's when the water start to lower it going away 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 a little bit by little and and uh, water went away my car was gone no <laughs> All the water went inside all the way to the dashboard. So, well, but uh, one thing uh, on those situations, you never think about the cars. I mean, on those situations, the first thing you it comes to it came to my mind is let's get out of here and get my family saved. I don't care about the car or the stuff on the house. Let's get uh, safe and be alive. <laughs> And thank God that uh, he helped us to stay alive. Uh, nothing bad happened to my family and me. We are alive and I <laughs> thank God for that. And also that my, my family and my church member, they helped us too, to, to move, to get the stuff out, to clean, because the smell on the apartment was bad it, it was real real bad <laughs> but I already took all my things out thank god I already found a house to rent and I'm here thank god that is, I'm alive my family is okay the car is gone <laughs> but uh, the good thing is ins the insurance is gonna pay for the car so new car is coming <laughs> For the channel so in the next video I'm gonna show what car or maybe I'm gonna put some options and I'm thinking and getting but I, I don't know what is if I wanna get a same Corolla or but 
I'll, I'll put it on the next video, okay? And uh, this, I know this is a different video, this is not as the same as the other videos, but I just wanted to tell you what happened to me, why I haven't been uh, uploading videos, because uh, I don't have internet right now, I don't have internet, I'm gonna make this video, create it, and as soon as I get internet, I'm gonna up upload it. So, but uh, thank you for still supporting my, my, my channel, for watching my videos, and if you want still to support and help me, watch videos, you will see my videos are, the, the content is very good, subscribe to my channel, like as many videos as you can to help, to help me please. <laughs> and uh, give a thumbs up to most of the videos you can on my channel if you are not subscribed please subscribe that will help me a lot and uh, I will on the next video I will show you what car I'm planning to get and probably it's gonna be almost the same thing but I'm not sure yet so see you in the next video and let me know what you guys think <laughs> of this thing that I on, on this thing that happened to me <laughs> but uh, the thing is I thank God that I'm okay my family is okay and I'm gonna I'm still alive I'm gonna still uh, making videos if I get a uh, same car I'm gonna do all the videos that I did I'm gonna do those again because I'm gonna start from zero okay so please support my channel and Keep supporting and I thank you for, for all your help, okay? See you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.